Welcome to the animation retarget tutorial. We're going to end up with a lot of new assets. So let's make a new folder for them. I'm just going to call it move at Wraith because we're working with Wraith. So if I come to move at content, take the animation blueprint and right click. Retarget and in blueprints, duplicate. And you will only have one of these, don't worry. You want to make sure that they're in an identical pose. Now, if your character is in a T pose, we're going to start with what you do in that event. So if I right click here, I can go find skeleton. And I can open it up. If I hit view pose and hide pose, nothing happens. But if I go modify pose and I select the drop down, there is actually a T pose that you can use to retarget from. For this to work successfully, your character will have to be in a matching T-pose, and we'll get to that later if it isn't. For now, to go back to an A-pose, because that's what Wraith uses, we just go Modify Pose, Reset. So if you don't have a matching retarget pose, there is an optional tutorial that will be linked in the description and in the documentation and you will need to watch it if you don't know how to deal with that. Alternatively, I can create mathematically accurate retarget poses, but this comes with a fee. If you want this, you can come into the Discord, linked in the comments, and send me a message. And because this depends on animation software, it's not something I can offer as a universal tutorial. Before continuing, it is imperative that you have an adequate retarget pose, otherwise the resulting animations are going to be incredibly strange or just very poor. Okay, so now that we've got our retarget pose, we can continue with the retargeting process. So we right click on AB Move It, Retarget Anim Blueprints, Duplicate Anim Blueprints and Retarget, I'm going to select Wraith and I'm going to change the folder to the one that we made. Move it Wraith. Now anything you do for renaming the animations you will want to remember for the next step. So if we come into the animations here, say we have move it idle. If I'm selecting an animation I want a unique name, so it doesn't come up with the base idle animation. So I'm going to replace move at with move at underscore wraith. And I'm going to hit retarget. And you'll notice, so if I find the idle really quick, We've got move it wraith idle instead of move it idle. So it will be separated in the drop down lists, which is what we want. But it's just splattered. All of our nicely organized animations like this. So we come to the move it content folder. You open move it retarget sorter and with a right click and go run editor utility widget. Don't double click it. That opens the logic for creating it. Unless you want to see how it's made, then by all means. So I told you we will need to remember the renaming options we used because it needs to know how to match the animations. Okay, so ignore that I just pressed that. That was a misclick. We come into the original animation folder here, and then we click it. The animation's human. It will work if it's just the animations folder and it will loop over the quadruped one soon, be like, huh, I don't need these. So we come back here, we select every single animation, and we hit auto sort retargeted animations. Now this is compatible with your source control plugins and everything, of course. In fact, if you are using source control, that might take a long time. So be prepared to go and have a break while it does that. 
So I'm just going to hit Control Shift S to save everything. Okay, so now you notice we've got Move It Wraith, Animations, Human. We don't need the Human folder, so I'm just going to move everything into Animations directly. I mean, unless you've got, unless Wraith has a dog in your project. So now that move operation has been completed, we just want to right click and go fix up redirectors and folder, just to make sure nothing got left behind. And then the human folder will now be empty, so we can just delete that. And we have nicely organized animations with completed retargeting. We open as idle, ignore what the gun's doing, Ideally, you would open him in an animation package and take his gun away from him and make it a separate model. So all of these have been retargeted. If we open up the, lo the locomotion and go to, say, I don't know, sprint, sprint forward. And it looks like the move at animation. So just verify that the result is accurate. Go through a bunch of animations, be like, yep, that looks fine. Or, oh, there's a serious issue. I need to go back to my retarget pose. All right, that's the end of that tutorial. Thank you for watching.